Okay, bear with me because I haven't used my LEDs on this quad for a long time with the Maytech uh, one W128, whatever. I found it easier for me to use Clean Flight, and this might be a multiple video series on it. No, probably not. I'm just going to try to guide you through what you're probably going through right now, and then you can work on the programming part from anything in YouTube. Right now, I think you're experiencing these lights are just have different colors and you have that beeping. I don't know where the beeping sound is coming from, if that's a wire connection or what. But if you look up here in clean flight, I don't know if you can see that, the LED strip, I have it turned on. Now, in order for you to program your LED strips, these lights have to be off. Problem is, right now, if you do what you've been doing and what I try to do is hold this for two seconds, and get that double beep the goal is to get the actual all the LEDs to shut off to make them programmable otherwise they're not going to be programmable and no matter what you're pressing like right now nothing's happening and that is because the LED strip is active under clean flight so what you're going to need to do is unclick the LED strip uh, watch what happens when I reboot because I'm going to save it and reboot and watch the lights. Now the LED strip is off. And now I can program the different light colors to anything I want. And I've just been using red just because it's easier to see and it uses less batteries. Now, if you saw, I kept scrolling through here. And you want to be to the off position. So you want to keep pressing it until that's off. You see right now, since I have the LEDs, the LED strip uh, turned off in clean flight, I can do this. Okay? So basically, turn off the LED strip and keep cycling through here until it's off. And then let it store. And then from there, go back into the programming with your LED strip, turn it back on, and begin the programming process. And just pay attention to those videos on YouTube. I'll try to help you out as much as I can, but right now it's kind of the day before my birthday and my wife wants to do something for me. But anyway, so hopefully that works. The beeping sound that you have, I, I don't know where that's coming from. And I'm connected on this one. This is my first quad I ever built. And I'm connected with an SPF, SP Racing F3 board. And I'm wired the same way you are. So I don't know why that uh, buzzing sound or that clicking is, is still happening. It might be a wire problem maybe later on. This week I'll dissect this and take it apart if you're still having problems. And uh, hopefully this helps you at least to be able to put it in programming mode. So... Now that it's in programming mode, I'm going to go ahead and turn the LED strip on, just for the heck of it. And when the LED strip is on, I can't, you cannot control manually the colors of these LEDs. It now has to be done with the LED strip itself on clean flight. So I'm going to save and reboot, and there we go. And then we're back to that problem that you were having, 1001, 1002. And I'm going to get different colors here in a second. And it's just giving me annoying different color, random colors that make no sense. And that's because I'm in the programming mode. So I can't do anything with this manually. But you need to be in the manual mode first and then have everything turned off. And that is by disabling the LED first in clean flight. Clean flight was the easiest way for me to do it. So one more time, unclicking the LED strip, saving and reboot. lights flashing I am in manual mode where I can control the colors of the lights and shut them off to be programmable and there we go oops Ooh. oh I passed it up dagnabbit Let's see if I can. Did 
There we go. You just got to keep cycling through and the lights will turn off. And now, now it's in program mode where you can now click the LED strip and then do the programming. All right. Hope that helps. Sky T Quality signing out.